friends of Qatari Water, this is Saul Montoya once again. This time we are going to do a very interesting topic that is multispectral analysis of satellite sat, of satellite satellital imagery. And this time we are going to analyze a Landsat 8 uh, image. This image is this one. Let me show you. If this is the code of the image and these are the 11 the 11 bands plus this quality control band so we are going to do um, an algorithms where we can explore i mean we we i mean we can we can we have two 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 options here whether we open this in qgis or in qgis or like we do a we do a script in Python where we can explore how are related the different bands of this satellite image. So, uh, what we have done here, let me show you what we have done. I will run it. What you are seeing is in fact Jupyter notebook, but I have, I show you just the cells, but otherwise uh, maybe I can show you Like here, we are using Jupyter Notebook. And like I will run all cells, kernel, run all, run all cells. I'm sorry. There is this temporal file that is actually, maybe, it's actually, I mean, that I don't know if it's cre it creates that for you. Once again, it's there. Let me let me remove it again. I don't know. Maybe okay, it's done. So I am running though the cells and run the first one. Uh, and I I will explain what what does it does the first one and what does the second one. Okay, and then the second one is this one. This is the product. The product is an interactive application where we can see a point here, yeah, and we can we have these dials, with these interactive bars, and we here we can see the eleven bands of this satellite image. So we can explore across the bands, and we can see how are the different the different bands related. For example, we see band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are empty, 10, no, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so and here we see another band. And then, I mean, let's look what is what is going on in this irrigated area because this is in fact NDVM and NDVI map. So we go further. Okay. Okay. And this is very interesting because you can explore trends and then you can explore those trends like. Mm, in quite a small time frame and let's see what we have done okay first of all we we import OS because we need to to open we need to open all of these files and to list them as well so that's why we open OS and then we import NumPy as MP and then we have two up to two two functions in this in this file that is called funciones Fair and then okay, these are the first definitions and models that we are importing in this script. And this is a list of this is a list, this command, this line actually make a list of the names of, of the different bands of the last Landsat image. Okay, then we create an empty map because we this empty zero that is a matrix full of zeros is actually where we are going to store the data okay 
then we do pile up in line because we need we want that this file that this file that the graphic will be after the cell okay and then what we do here is we do a, a range because we do a range over the length of the file minus one because actually we are we are not interested in to see which is the value of this quality assurance uh, image because it's actually not a band and it will be at the at the end of the list okay and then we with this we aggregate or like we store the results of a brief imaging a brief imaging in fact is a command where that is here this and this is let me show you okay that is on function spi where we import matplotlib field that is a package to manage image and numpy as well and this is in fact not working because yeah. okay and then abril image is um, and this is in fact not working as well we are opening each file under this um, we are opening each band and then from the band we are we convert it from an image to a numpy array and then we cut it because the the band is is huge it's around 7000 times 6000 i mean 7000 wrong times 6000 column per band so and we don't want to analyze the whole image so we we just cut it up a section that is 1000 rows times 1000 columns and then we close it because like we once we we get this this section like we close it otherwise we don't want to host the image on our memory and then we return the, just the the cut the array the decider array okay so we go to multispectral analysis and then we with this for each for each layer I mean for for band 1 2 3 4 5 till 11 we are going to store it okay and then we uh, since we have the bands we are going to do a uh, NDVI NDVI is actually the band of near so it's the near infrared less the red band divided by near plus so this is near less red and this is near plus uh, right plus red times 100 because like we want to enhance I mean like we wanted to have it in as a percentage and this is an uh, IP widget that this um, IP widget is um, is the tool of IPython to make these interactive dials so and if we run it I'm going to run it it's running okay and then once again and then here we have this beautiful interactive map where we can explore how are the different bands on the Landsat image are doing so I hope that you find this interesting and I hope that that you can explore and then you can see like you can, can have some trends we use satellite image just for vegetation but maybe you have other other application like you wanted to, to for soil erosion maybe you want it for minerals or something like that so i hope that this is very interesting for you and please follow us by this youtube channel please follow us by facebook please follow us by twitter as well and i hope to see you on coming scripts and i will give you my email
for any questions write to Saul Montoya at idahatari.com okay so if you have any question or like you want a script for a special topic and if it's available that we or like if we can do it yes I mean we will do what we can to just to show you how you can solve problems with Python or like another topic or another software okay so it was a pleasure to talk to you and please keep us and support our efforts with your likes and your shares on the other on the social network and see you on the next video bye bye